So this is the side glides. This is uh, for people when they have a, a, a lateral protrusion, a uh, disc uh, protrusion, a disc bulge out to the side. It causes them to be like this. Um, so often your friends or family will tell you, you look all twisted or you'll see it in the mirror. And the way to look is with your arms relaxed, you'll see that one arm will be touching the side of it and the other will have a big gap. Whichever side has the gap, that's the side that's going to go against the wall. Okay, we're going to call this a left antalgia, okay, as opposed to a right antalgia. And you'll find that you're like this uh, often, first thing in the morning, you might be like this, or after you've pulled your back, and uh, this is a, a disc that slid out to the side. This exercise can be helpful to help push that disc back in. Actually, I'm going to show you a right disc. So when you're over like this, yeah, it's the right side with the gap. That's the side that's going to go against the wall. Reverse that. If you were the other way, you would go the left side against the wall. For us, for video purposes, we're going to go the right side. So you'll be looking like this and you'll be twisted. When you try to straighten up, you won't be able to do it because of pain, because of stiffness. With this exercise, really what you, what you want to be careful of is making sure you move nice and slow. No sudden movements. Anything that brings on leg pain, you want to stop. You want to readjust. If you still can't do this exercise without really bad sharp pain or leg pain, you don't do it. Okay? So this is, if you're over to the right, we're going to call this a right antalgia and it's going to be a right elbow that goes against the wall. This is left, left elbow goes against the wall. So we're like this, we're going to be going this way. About a foot away from the wall, elbow in here, you're going to put this shoulder against the wall and it's going to stay against the wall. Okay, it stays there, don't let it come off the wall. What you want to be doing is trying to push this hip, in a sense straightening yourself up by pushing this hip into the wall. You may need to bend your knees, that's fine. You may need to bend forward a little bit, that's fine. Whatever you do, do it slowly because you can get caught with this exercise with some sharp spasms. So again, you're watching for leg pain. Keep this shoulder in here. Your arm is in against the ribs so you can't get in. Your ribs, your elbow is stopping you from getting in there. Acts as a bit of a pivot. You're going to be pushing and you want to go as far as you feel you can. If you get any leg pain, try just bending your knees, try just gently bending forward. If that makes it easier, great. If not, just forget about it. But if you can go and it's just a bit of stiffness, if it takes the pain out of your leg, maybe takes the pain out of your buttock, brings it up to your back or from your lower leg up to your thigh, up to your buttock, that's fine. You want the pain to become more centralized. Pushing in, take to as far as you can, hold it for about 10 seconds, decide if it's getting worse, better. If it's getting better, you would push further in and hold it there. If you decided that it was not easing off, you would ease back slowly only to where you feel you need to and hold still and gather some strength. If you don't need to come all the way back here, don't come all the way back there. Just as far back as you need to that gives you some peace so that you can rest. Gather your strength and attempt again. We're trying to get ourselves straightened by going further and further into the wall. Each attempt, you should feel a little bit looser or go a little bit further or hopefully both. Go in, decide, is that as far as I can go? Yeah, that's stiff. That's about all I can take. Yeah. If it's easing forward, more into the wall, not easing, ease back, gather your strength. Four or five attempts, you should be getting closer and closer to the wall. In the morning, you may be much stiffer and you may have to go more eight or nine or ten attempts. But if you're getting sharp pains or leg pains, just stop. Once you get to the wall, that's good. Hold it there 10 seconds. You can try a couple more attempts where you push into the wall where you've just eased back a little bit. After you've done, use your arm. You're going to push yourself up 
nice and gentle and ideally you should see that you're a bit straighter and that you feel much looser. If you feel worse, stop. <laughs> okay? <laughs>